Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let me just say, welcome to the broadcast. It's a beautiful overcast day. It's like 32 degrees. Let me just show you guys here, if you can see that. All that blue and pink is snow and frozen mix. What we're doing today in this video is hauling the tractor and box blade down to a driveway repair job. As you can see, this driveway is not in too bad of shape. It's up through here. They've put uh, washed stone down. There's a little bit of a ditch over there, actually. We've got to build this whole road up, though. Once I get pulled up in here, I will uh, get you guys out and show you what we're having to do. Alrighty. Make sure. Yep. Set the brakes. Okay, so on this job, we're going to be using the Kubota M7060 tractor with my everything attachments. Eight foot box blade. Well, what a pretty little snow. So what we've got originally, when I met this customer, I told him he needed me to put a pipe in so we could pipe water under the driveway and him still be able to use this, but that's not in budget. We didn't want to, they didn't want to go that route. So they just want me to do the best I can. Right here, you can see water's also cutting across and into this middle, making this cut. It must be below 32, that's snow's trying to lay. I hope it does. Well, let me see if I can get you guys a viewpoint here. The water's coming down through here and some of it, is trying to make it over onto the side but right here you can see maybe you can see there's a good little dip here so what i'm going to do is just pull the box blade down this side and just grate it as it will what i don't want to do is this washed stone here i don't want to put that in here because that'll be loose up under the road bond and either a the road will shift and move around not stay solid the way i grade it or the fines from the road bond will work their way down into that washed stone below leaving loose washed type stone on the top and we'll be right back where we started from we just need to grade this road down through here put a little crown on it and like you can see here they've they've graded this over here well this road just didn't settle good, I think. But you can see that they have come later on and put washed stone down, and it's just kicked it off, and it will not stay. I'm gonna pull. Really, I don't have to pull these ties. You can see the water's worked its way under here. But I'm gonna dump six of my truckloads. So that's about 48 tons starting right here where the problems start and that'll be enough material to build the road up i could just tailgate stone down and grade the stone but it'll make thin and thick sections of road bond i want it uniform i want this whole road dome shaped so i'm gonna unload my tractor stick it in the corner and then we're gonna take off out of here we will see what this weather does. I could work this right now, but I don't want to stir the ground up and loosen it up with potential wet ground, you know, the snow melt. So let's get unloaded. Okay, it looked like the sun is trying to peek through the clouds. So let's take a gamble. Let's go drop the trailer off 
grab a load of road bond and just come on back down here with it and we'll try to get at least a little bit of this driveway knocked out all right so <clears throat> we could go ahead and unhook our trailer or we could take my baby boy wilbur for a ride let's take wilbur for a ride let's see if he wants to go to work today As y'all can see, I've got my power inverter and my little space heater to keep me warm today. Just to just the right height here. Perfect. Old Wilbur's a good old truck. This video is dedicated to Logger Wade. So if you're not subscribed to his channel and you like a pretty good humorous guy, go check Logger Wade out. get this material down I believe it's not really steep so I don't feel like I need to tear the road up to get them to bond together really good we'll get down there and see how it goes Got me on track too. Yep. Thank you. I am going to go ahead and grade this material that's on the inside. I'm going to pull it toward the middle and fill that trench in, and then we're going to be able to cap it all really nice with the road bond. trips to make this stuff staying dry enough to tailgate what i'm going to do is actually leave this just like it is for now so the next few trips coming and going it'll pack into this corner where which was the trouble area and it'll pack and pack and pack and then at the end of the day we'll just finish grade it out i'm just going to take a couple of quick passes since my box blade's already tilted correctly and i'm just going to shave this edge off so as we tailgate material through the day It'll crown this road the way it's supposed to be.
load number two. That's pretty not bad. What we're doing is building the road up and that way we don't have to cut their pretty lawn to make a ditch line. It'll be nice and dome shaped. Water will run off the sides and this thing will function like it's supposed to. Alrighty. Just got the load number two tailgated. We're very fortunate today. Most of the time when it's rain and snow like this, the road bond, ABC, crusher run, whatever you call it in your area will get wet and especially when it's cold that stuff will get almost kind of sticky acting fortunately for us they're crushing today at the quarry so as quick as it's coming out of the crusher trucks are loading it out and getting it to their job sites so we're super lucky what i'm going to do is hug the left side of the driveway here and get it good and compact I don't want any kind of a lip along this edge here to hold water in when it rains. Let me go ahead and ride this edge here as well to prep for the next load. So we just tied this section in to the other sections. I'm going to leave my box plate on just a slight angle since I've already got it crowned. Just to kind of firm that crown up. And I'm going to drag every bit of what I've worked so far and see what we've got. We're probably going to need about two more loads. Let's check it out. steps before we really finish this you guys can see maybe before that's a sudden drop i'm gonna tailgate one more load right up through there and that way that whole thing's gonna be a good smooth angle so it's gonna be angled this way and i'm gonna try to leave a little bit of an angle this way so water can just skirt around through there that's the best we can do with the budget and circumstance right through here i've got this banked nicely for water just to skirt down through there and there is a ditch right through there it'll carry water nicely and hopefully maybe you guys can see kind of how i've got my crown going it's not finished yet it will be all right friends we have gotten one more load this makes load number four of road bond on this job as always actually i should say most of the time the customer does not want to, the extra cost of bringing a roller especially when i don't think it's really necessary right here in this curve was our real problem area with washing so what i'm going to do is tailgate this load up through here and what i'm going to do is I'm, my goal is this high spot right here is where I want the material to come to. So I'll be watching my mirrors as I'm tailgating the material and I'm going to try to just barely overlap up onto the previous spread and that'll give the truck a little bit of a tilt. You don't want to get your truck tilted too much. I'll be about halfway empty by the time I get to the tilt so most of the remaining weight of material will be toward the back and the bottom of the dump bed and that's going to give me more stability. That's something you'll learn with time as you do this. Now once we get this load out, I'm going to go ahead and go get another load which will be the remainder of the tonnage that we've got quoted for this. 
that load is actually going to go down over top of the culvert which is flat i'm going to leave that load in the truck and i'm going to use that weight i'll be weighing about 35,000 pounds so i'll have about uh let's see about 23,000 pounds on the rear axle roughly 10 to 12,000 pounds on the front axle that's a lot of weight and pressure pressing down on this new material and i'll be able to drive back and forth on this a whole bunch of times pack it in this is only going to be about a three or four inch lift on each spread you really don't need a whole lot to get it to compress once i track on it a few times i'll grade it with the tractor and then i'll drive on it a bunch more times again further compacting it and then last but not least we'll tailgate that last bit of material down over the culvert raising that road bed up another three inches or so and we'll be able to really dome shape so water doesn't settle across that culvert anymore let's get to it Man, that's pretty. Let's make it prettier. load of material i'm going to come down here and i'm just going to go at a pretty good clip but not quite as fast as yesterday in this section because with it being damp material i've gotten four extra links in the chains that adjust my tailgate and i have a video specifically about how to tailgate gravel with a dump truck just search for it on the channel i'm going to put it down pretty thick right here the slower i drive the higher it's going to be and the less it's going to sling material out to the sides so i'm going to be watching in my mirrors how the material is coming out and i will adjust my speed accordingly You all can see now by slowing down, the material didn't spread all the way to the ties on each side. And that way I'm gonna be able to drop my tractor off this low spot and it'll put the tractor and box blade on the correct grade that I want. I just got through using Wilbur, our little truck to just track this in as best I could. Pack this in pretty well. So this stuff packs in really nice. Really nice. I think just for extra measure, I will drop that link and angle my box plate just a hair. Give me just a little bit more angle down here. And we will just go ahead and do our little final grade. And this driveway will be ready for use. Now this is a happy little driveway. I'm gonna yet again pack it as best I can with the truck. And when I come back later this evening, I'll take my rake and knock the edges down. And this little driveway will be done. <laughs> 